This program is presented to you by Samuel Lee World Evangelism. Our goal is to reach the entire world with the gospel of Jesus Christ and to educate man with the universal principles of God and to co-partner with Christ in liberating man from all forms of evil and injustice. For more information on Dr. Samuel Lee's ministry, please visit www.slwe.net. The sixth point that I want to share with you, I call it the miraculous versus science. The, the foundation of Pentecostal theology and the Pentecostal charismatic belief is that we believe in miracles. We believe that miracles can still happen today. And miracles that Jesus Christ performed 2,000 years ago are still possible today. Which is wonderful to believe in miracles when, when we can go nowhere, when uh, nobody can give us an answer and we are hopeless. There comes God with his miracles. However, exaggerating or overemphasis on the miraculous unfortunately make us to neglect science. If we want to reach the world, the modern world, with the gospel of Jesus Christ, if we want to, to reach the high-tech generation with the gospel of Jesus Christ, if we want to participate in, in change and changing the world, we have to give a space for science within the Pentecostal movement. Uh, I'm sure that there are a lot of Pentecostal scientists from chemistry to physics and medical science and name it all. But I, I hope that we will have more scientists within the uh, Pentecostal movement. From the very beginning there is an enmity between the church and science and I believe the root of that goes back to the Middle Ages where um, scientists were driven out from the church uh, just because of certain questions they had about God and the Bible. For instance, the scientists of the day, of those days, they believed that uh, the earth is round, but the church strongly believed that the earth is flat. And anyone who, who, who suggested that the earth is round would be threatened to be killed or imprisoned or tortured. For this reason, a lot of scientists and even artists, they left the church. And, and the, the uh, uh, renaissance in, in, in Europe, and after that the secularization in Europe uh, helped even more that uh, science and, and, and uh, religion will be separated. Uh, my suggestion is that it is advisable, it is good for the Pentecostal believers to deepen themselves into science and be a scientist and yet um, be a Pentecostal and bring the science within, uh, within the uh, Pentecostal theology. I myself, I'm a sociologist and I am um, specialized in Japanese culture. And uh, many years ago I thought, what does sociology do uh, with, um, with, uh, with faith and uh, Pentecostalism? But recently, past six, seven years, I begin to realize that I can use my profession, I can use uh, my knowledge of sociology to, to help the church to function better, to help the church to participate in the society, to help the church to participate in the global change. And, and um, especially with, the, with my uh, study about Japan, uh, I have written a book uh, which is called Understanding Japan Through the Eyes of Christian Faith. It's a sociological book uh, which is now being used by thousands of people worldwide, especially missionaries who want to go to Japan for uh, missional work. They read my book uh, prior going to Japan. And so you can see that I used my science um, uh, for the service of my belief and my faith and my denomination. And I believe there are thousands and thousands of different scientists. They can uh, bring their uh, uh, knowledge 
uh, to the Pentecostal movement. Let us not ignore science. Let us be more open to science. Not everything that is scientific is a sin and against God and is from the devil. Uh, let us give the scientists a chance to dialogue with us. Uh, we need a dialogue between science and Pentecostalism. And I believe when the two of them are merged together, even there will be a greater miracle. You never know. But let us be open to science. And especially social science. Uh, it's uh, amazing. Let us practice uh, uh, social sciences within the uh, Pentecostal movement. Uh, I travel often to Africa uh, and I meet uh, with many, many African pastors and leaders. And when I listen to them, when I hear them, I know that they have quite knowledge, quite big knowledge about the Bible and especially about, uh, you know, fasting and praying and how casting out demons and devils. But um, less knowledge about the world, less knowledge about the global world, less knowledge about environment, less knowledge about uh, society, uh, the structures of society. I think as a pastor I really suggest that we deepen ourselves in these kind of sciences and make these sciences available for the church, especially for the Pentecostal movement. At least this is my, uh, my thought and my thinking. We hope you have enjoyed this program. We are delighted to hear from you. Please write to us and share what the Lord has done to you. You can write your testimonies to Samuel Lee World Evangelism. P.O. Box 12429, 1100, A.K. Amsterdam, The Netherlands or email to info at slwe.net You are also welcome to visit our website at www.slwe.net or www.samlee.org Remember, you are 